here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. Over Harris. Harris misses. Down low. Here's Simmons. The shot off that time. Excellent D there from Embiid. The Sixers trailing. Harden, the pass to Harris. And the layup is good off the glass. Boy, this is the threat that Harris poses now. He's a scorer from every level. Inside, three-point land, and at the rim. Outside Curry. Here's O'Neal. Left side, Simmons. Just five on the clock. And down it goes. Two points. And the Nets lead by three. You know, with his size and skill, Simmons is really good down low. I think he can score a bunch of points this way. It's McDaniels on the wing. And the layup is good. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. Good. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line. A chance at a three-point play. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year. Just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Harden against Dinwiddie. Back to O'Neal. Takes a three. Counted from distance. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. Brooklyn has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Banked it in off the glass. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. The 76ers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. On the wing, Harden. He's covered by Dinwiddie. James Harden with a terrific move and the bucket. How good is that? Harden handing the ball in these moments. Love stepping up at crucial time. Bridges outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Harden with pass to Tucker. And here's Embiid from 18 feet away. Claxton with a rebound. Johnson against Maxey. Pass to Claxton. Embiid with a steal. Here's Maxi. Deflected. And he recovers it. Here's Embiid. Harris outside. And he's going for the lob. And Embiid throws it down. You like Embiid's confidence and willingness to step up in the big moment. Timeout called. Brooklyn. They're leading by one. Minute 32 left in the fourth. The 76ers making a switch here. Melton's checked in. And a change for the Nets. Benny Smith's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what the Nets coach was going over with his team. He seemed pleased with his team's performance, saying, quote, we're on track. We're doing everything right. Keep it tight out there. And let's take back the lead in this series. Back to you. Appreciate the report, Allie. Night in and night out. Harris impacts the game at the offensive end. And he is a go-to guy down the stretch as well. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. He's such a great free throw shooter who can handle big moments. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. You know something else, guys? You know, they came out of that tunnel sprinting in a full stride sprint. That translated to the floor and lots of success in the fast break game. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Nicely done. 
Without much separating these teams, that's when you have to make good at the run. And when he passes to Johnson. Will it go? The shot misses. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Harden with it. And Bridges picks him up defensively. And there it is for him. And the 76ers lead by six. Got to make anybody besides hard to shoot the ball there. I mean, he doesn't feel the pressure. He embraces this stuff. It's right in his wheelhouse. Make somebody else shoot it. Harris against Johnson. Harris misses. Brooklyn with the ball. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points, and they need them now. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. That's his third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for three. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. You know, he can be your primary scorer, but he also can be your primary playmaker. Offensively, Harden does everything at a diamond level. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. And another miss by Philadelphia. Bridges against Harris. With some arc. Second shot opportunity. Here's Claxton. Can't get it to fall. So this one belongs to the 76ers. And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, James Harden.